Hey everyone, in this video I want to go over how to use dictionary comprehensions in Python. So dictionary comprehensions are very similar to list comprehensions and I think if you can understand list comprehensions then you can understand dictionary comprehensions. One thing to note about dictionary comprehensions is they're only available in Python 2.7 and above and Python 3.0 and above. So if you're using 2.6 you won't have access to them. So let me start a Python interpreter and I'll show you how to use uh, dictionary comprehensions. If you're not familiar with list comprehensions, I suggest you watch my video on list comprehensions first. I'll include a link to that in the description below. Um, and to briefly go over list comprehensions, I'll just make one here. I'll say a equals um, x for i or x in range of five. This should create a list of numbers from zero to four. And that's exactly what it does. So I'll do something similar in a dictionary now. So I'll say B is going to be a dictionary comprehension. So instead of the square bracket, I need the curly bracket because this is a dictionary. And then I need to specify the key and the value. Um, in this case, I'll say the key is X and the value is also X. Um, and then for X in range of five. And then I need the closing curly bracket. So you see I have a dictionary with the keys and the values being the same and they each go um, 0 to 4. So let me make something a little more interesting. I'll say b equals x and then x cubed for x in range of 5. And then now each um, key is then cubed as the value. And of course I can add the if statements in here. So let's say I'll only get cubes of even numbers. So instead of range 5, I'll do range 10 to go 0 through 9. If x modulo 2 is equal to 0, so it's only going to process the even numbers. So now let's look at b. I have 0 and then 8. Dictionaries are unordered, so that's why it's out of order. But I see 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, which are all the even numbers between 0 and and 10. So let me just show a more interesting example um, with strings. Let's say I have a list of names um, Anthony, Steve, and Amber. And then I'll create a dictionary based off this. So C, um, I'll say the key is going to be just X and then the value will be the uppercase version of X for X in names. Now let's take a look at C. So each key is just whatever is in the list names and each value is the name in all caps. So like list comprehensions, dictionary comprehensions are very easy to use. Um, these are very simple examples but they scale up to more complicated examples so it's just limited by your imagination where you can build in a dictionary comprehension. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about dictionary comprehensions or even list comprehensions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond to it. If you have any requests for videos, you can leave a comment below as well and I'll try to make one for it. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll have another video out tomorrow and I'll talk to you then.